so much for being with us. I'm joined now by Maddie Sharapel. Maddie, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. We're so excited to have you here. We know you're the fourth recipient of the Kern Award, right? This is a prestigious award given to folks who are being recognized for safety in aviation and professionalism. Tell us a little bit about the award and what it's like to be recognized. Well, I'm very honored to be recognized with the award. Um, having been on the MBAA Safety Committee for the last seven years, it was established by one of the working groups. We have a professionalism uh, working group on the Safety Committee. So I had a chance to see it uh, develop and understand what it really means to be a recipient of the award. So I was really honored and humbled uh, when I learned that one of my counterparts in my company uh, nominated me for the, for the uh, award Fantastic. and it really is demonstrating leadership professionalism self selflessness uh, and really you know a commitment to safety in the industry and how how you can use what resources you have available to you mm -hmm. to be able to mentor and uh, and lead and really make a difference in in the in that space and I know global aerospace does insurance right and you all put Correct. together a new program about 10 years ago if I'm right, right. Tell us so about that. 10 years ago we developed a program called the SM for program. Mm -hmm. It was at a time when ISBEO was emerging, SMS was emerging. Uh, we had an internal loss control department mm -hmm. that would go out and do uh, safety audits, but we were finding that our customers were uh, they, they were so far advanced that they were exceeding our internal capabilities. Oh, wow. And they really wanted more targeted help in certain areas when they were looking to get ISBEO certified or how do they manage all the data with their SMS. So we went out and we part partnered with external uh, subject matter experts in emergency response planning, family assistance, and uh, human factors. So the four originating partners were Global Aerospace, okay. Convergent Performance, which is Dr. Tony Kern's company. Right. Uh, for human factors, Fireside Partners, which is uh, our emergency response planning and family assistance, and mm -hmm. Baldwin Aviation, who cool. has been our SMS uh, staple since the since the program started in 2010. Now, over the course of the next 10 years, my job was really to lead and to um, make sure that there was continuous improvement in the program. So sure. were we actually making a difference for our customers? Uh, how could we use our voice as a, as a large insurer mm -hmm. to bring attention to things like upset recovery training, mm -hmm. hypoxia? Uh, so throughout the years, we introduced new partners into the program. Oh. We started with four. We have 12 today. Wow. Um, and then we did, we, we worked the, um, the different components of the program were, were different. We had some industry uh, benefits that anybody could access on our website, seminars that we would hold around the country, and then we had some global aerospace customer specific benefits. Wow. And they've changed as the years gone on, as uh, the years have evolved as well. So I know the industry has evolved, which means safety, you know, risks have definitely changed. What do you think really we need to be focusing on now and in the future as we look ahead towards safety and professionalism? So, so one of the things that we decided to do with the program this year was rather than have uh, all, all of the partners in their own subject matter areas focusing on their own area, we decided to attack an, an issue that's facing the entire industry, which is the talent pipeline. Gotcha. So how do we pull all of our resources together and try to put it and make a difference in the talent pipeline? So what mm -hmm. we created now, the new, the new program, mm -hmm. so it's 10 years old, <laughs> so we're launching our new program is our learning management system. Right, right. So we got together with all of the partners and we developed this, these modules that are meant to be used throughout the entire flight department, not only flight, FBOs, airports, anybody who's a global customer can log in as starting in January okay. uh, and watch these learning modules that have been put together by each one of the partners. Oh, that's excellent. And it's meant for reception, through catering, through, wow. uh, we even wanted to go go beyond flight because people that are responsible for the budget for flight should really have an understanding of mm -hmm. what upset recovery training means right. and why when the flight department is looking for additional funding to be able to do we want to we want to do fatigue risk management really understand the science of fatigue and mm -hmm. how that impacts the operation not just flight maintenance um, so so the new program now uh, is this learning management system for any global customer that's really interesting because you don't always think about the people who are running the budget right Right? And right. yet they're key in terms of the Absolutely. future and training and all of that. That's really interesting. Where can people find out more information? So you can go to our website. Um, okay. 
the, there's a page on the on our SM4 website. Cool. Uh, in January, if you're a customer, you have to just put in some minimal information to get validated. Okay. And once you're validated, we send you a user ID and a password, wow. and then you can manage your own uh, your own uh, anyone else that you want to have access to the system. You right. as the administrator, you'll be an administrator of your own of your own um, customer. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Well, I really appreciate you joining us. Some good information, focusing on safety and professionalism. Thank you. We really appreciate you being here, and congratulations again on the current award. Thank you. Absolutely. So this is Maddie Sharpell. I'm Carrie Fernick, and this has been NBAA TV Live. We're glad you're with us. Back to some recorded content, and then we'll have Ed Bolin coming up next right here on NBAA TV Live. Thanks for being with us.